good day everyone welcome to another tutorial now for today's lesson we'll be looking at primary storage it's primary storage now primary storage is also called your main memory or your immediate access storage now this is a group of chips that reside in the motherboard of the computer with the system. Now, primary storage device consists of two types of memory chip you have the random access memory which is known as your RAM and you also have the read only memory which is known as your ROM or you can call it ROM. Let us first now look at random access memory. Now random access memory holds data and instructions or you can call it programs temporarily while processing is taking place. Now programs and data stored in secondary storage must therefore first be loaded into the RAM which is a random access memory before they can be processed by the CPU. Now random access memory is also known as volatile. Now this means that data that is stored there is temporary and changeable. Now random access memory is also limited in storage capacity. Random access memories are also expensive and are a major determinant of the final price of a computer system. Now let us look at the read-only memory which is your ROM. Now ROM chips hold data and instruction necessary for the starting up of the computer when it is switched off. It is commonly used to store system level program such as your BIOS which is your basic input output system program. Now this now this is a visual representation of how a BIOS screen looks and this is normally accessible by pressing F2, the function F2. You have three types of ROM. You have the programmable read-only memory which is your PROM, the electrically programmable read-only memory which is your EPROM and then you have your electrically Erasable program memory read only memory, which, which is your EEP ROM. Now let us examine each of them. The program memory read only memory. You now PROMs are blank chips which have nothing recorded on them. But once instructions or data is recorded on these chips, they are stored permanently. Alright. Now you have your erasable program memory read only memory. Now EEPROM chips can be programmed as a PROM chip but they can be erased and reprogrammed by a special programming device. So that's the difference between them. The content of an EEPROM chip can be erased by exposing it to ultraviolet light. And finally you have your electrically erasable programmable read only memory. Now EEPROM is similar to the EEPROM except that it is erased by applying electrical pulses to the chip. So it is possible to reprogram an EEPROM chip via keyboard commands without removing the chip from the computer, unlike the others. Now ROM versus ROM. All right. So here we examine some differences between your random access memory and your read-only memory. Now your random access memory stores program during and after processing right but with your read only memory now these stores program by the manufacturer regarding content the random access memory stores information temporarily while the read only memory stores information permanently regarding processing time the random access memory is very fast but uses a lot of power. However, for the read-only memory, it is also fast, but uses very little power. All right. Now regarding volatile, random access memory is volatile, and the read-only memory is non-volatile. That means that for the random access memory, data can be changed. However, for the read-only memory, the data cannot be changed, except for the programmable read-only memory where you can erase it and reprogram the information and also the electrically programmable read-only memory which you can by adding 
um, electrical pulses to it. So, end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to our another tutorial, which will be coming out soon. And also remember to like, share, and subscribe.